Hello everyone, this is Eric from your friendly neighborhood review from your neighbor, friendly neighborhood reviewer. And I know I'm not and not that much videos and that the you your friendly neighborhood reviewer channel um doesn't review much games, but I'll tell you why I'm doing this video today and why I'll be reviewing a game for this video. It's for a school assignment call uh, it's a, it's for a school assignment in my video game design class that I I'm taking at school. I'm a high school student. So yeah, and for that class, one of the assignments is to do reviews. We have to do three reviews from different eras. So the first school, the first uh, review is from the old school days of gaming, which is from the Atari until the Nintendo 64, and is in a written format. The second uh, review will be from the days of the Sega Dreamcast to the GameCube days, which is 1999 to 2005, and. Uh, uh, the the second video will be in a uh, the second review sorry will be in uh, this format which is a video review or uh, it could be a uh, audio uh, like a SoundCloud review like a podcast review but I'm choosing to do a video so yeah and three which is a uh, I think it's a live stream review which is from the eras from the GameCube no not the game from the Xbox 360 until the Nintendo Switch those 2005 to 2017. And I'm not really sure about the last format for the last review, but doesn't matter because I'm doing the video review right now. So uh, I bet I think it's in a live stream. And uh, we also have to do uh, it in the perspective of someone play like someone who like just played it at the time of its uh, release. So uh, yeah. Anyways, on with the video. <laughs> So, uh, for this video, I'll be reviewing the game called Crazy Taxi, and um, Crazy Taxi was released on January 24th, 2000, uh, in North America, and for the Sega Dream for the Sega Dreamcast, and I got to play, you know, a few days ago, all fresh and new, it was amazing, and I'll first be uh, explaining the general premise of uh, Crazy Taxi. Basically, you drive a taxi with a selection, with a selection of drivers, Around, around like a made-up fictional town, mostly resembling San Francisco, and you pick up customers not caring about obstacles, uh, obstacles, and you must deliver to the, the customer to as fast as location uh, as fast as possible to the destination. To help reach your destination, there's a green arrow that shows you the general direction of the area that you, where you have to drop off your customer. But that, but uh, but like it doesn't actually show you like go like straight here go like right here it just shows you like the general direction so it doesn't really care about obstacles and stuff in your way and uh when you uh drop off your customer you have to collect fare from them and that is added to the total amount of money you make during the playthrough and what i didn't mention is that you are timed to do this so you must um um drop off your customer a certain amount of time and if uh the timer runs out your customer jumps out of the car and gets mad at you and doesn't pay you and uh yeah, they don't pay you and they jump off the car. As well, there are ratings uh, that depend on how fast uh, you took to deliver the customer, drop off the customer at the location. And I'll now be explaining the modes. Um, one, which is the the like uh, time limit mode, which is you can set it up to three, five, or ten minutes. And uh, a classic arcade version and a few mini games, which is uh, really cool and really amazing. So. In the time setting mode, you play the game for a certain amount of time and uh, that you set it for. So you could set it for 3 minutes or ten, 5 minutes or 10 minutes. And uh, you basically, when your time limit runs out, the game stops and all the points that you have uh, accumulated stop and you cannot get any more points. And the game ends and your points are totaled. And, yeah. and in the arcade version, you get a 1 minute time limit and, uh, and uh, it's extended when you deliver the customers fast and you... You get an extended time bonus if you deliver your customers fast, and uh, you have to. Uh, and you can make the game go on as long as you want. You can make it go until infinite. You can even make it go to the end of time. Probably not. That'll be like billions of years from now. Anyways, that was just a joke. So yeah. And finally, the final mode is the mini games, which you can uh, pick up. Which you can. Uh, which one of them is you can set a custom amount of time for picking up and dropping off customers and. Uh, Using taxi as a bowling ball, which is really cool to knock down a uh, to knock down pins, and uh, popping balloons in a John field with a, when you're driving your taxi. In my opinion, I think having all these options is a great way to have variety in a game, 
uh, and even especially a game with a simple concept that is that is really amazing and uh yeah it's pretty it's a pretty uh i think that's amazing because like especially with this si simple contest um so uh and also there's things that i thought you can't even do in a like a regular driving game like playing bowling like wow like popping balloons like wow so if this is so for crazy taxi this is like pretty crazy you're literally like popping like balloons with your car and you're like bowling with your car that's like crazy you know crazy taxi you gotta be crazy anyways um i'd like to be talking about the control uh, like now i'll be talking about the controls which are very very simple um so basically you use the left trigger to like the left trigger on, on the dreamcast to break the right trigger to go f to move forward and the a and b buttons to go in forward or to go in like drive mode or to reverse so and the controls Aren't, aren't even that hard because uh, I got the grip and um, by figuring out myself and if you ask them you can get the controls really easily by like just playing it yourself or you can uh, read the manual or ask someone who already played the game it's not the controls are not that hard at all and uh, yeah I'll like to talk about the graphics next but the graphics really don't have like a like a like major thing in this review because uh, as long as it doesn't like affect the gra uh, the gameplay so basically the graphics are mediocre for a game of this t uh, for a game like right now in 1999 because uh, there were better masterpieces out there such as Majora's Mask but uh you know the graphics are uh are you know they're mediocre you know you could see what you're doing but I don't really care about much about the graphics because as long as the uh, it doesn't affect your ability to uh understand and play the game the game's good you know it's a good game you know, it has a very simple concept. I will finally be talking about the pros and cons of the game and give it overall rating. A pro is that you can pay, play it for so long and not get bored. This one this one game will literally take up all your time. You keep playing and playing it and like, you know, you won't ever get bored because there's so much modes and you can just, it's so fun and it's quick paced and it's like very awesome and uh, yeah. And another pro is that the concept is very simple, isn't overcomplicated. So even the most like basic players, you know, who just like casual gamers who just want to play this game, you know, they could play it, you know, they don't have to like spend like hours like racking up like items like in Zelda, you don't have to go through like dungeon, you know, you could just sit down, you play for five minutes and then you could leave. That's that's how like simple it is. So, uh, yeah. And also a pro is you can choose and another pro is you can choose from uh, many uh, different modes to play and cycle around if you so please. As well, you can have a character selection, and but although it has like the characters literally have like nothing to do with this, like the stats is like how fast you drive, like how like like the drift is or whatever the control or the heaviness of the car. It's a uh, kind of a uh, cool. Um, so yeah, it's kind of cool how you can uh, customize your character a little bit, but it doesn't really affect your stats. But it's a uh, kind of cool. So uh, yeah. And finally, the game is actually like a fun game. Like, I would literally play this for like hours and hours and then I won't ever get bored. Like, it's a really good game. And uh, I kind of have a few cons, but they're not really like cons. So like, yeah, okay. One con is that, you know, if you're really intense into this game, you might injure your thumb because like you're moving the joystick all around like crazy and trying to get to your destination. So, yeah, it's like, that's like a con. So you could hurt your thumb, like, ow, my thumb, you know, it's, it's pretty, it's, it's, it's not like, yeah, it's, 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 like, you could hurt your thumb. And another con, because it's not really a con for this one, is that, you know, it's only one player and you can't, well, actually, it is a legit con. You know, it's only, like, one player, maybe you could have put, like, some multiplayer in with, the, like, the bowling, like, if you play, like, bowling, you know, one player goes, the other player goes, and, uh, yeah, maybe you can have some multiplayer in that. And, uh, yeah, those are two cons, and they're not, like, horrible cons, but, you know, there's some cons, especially not, not having multiplayer, but overall, I would give this game a 9 out of 10. This is because it has easy-to-learn controls, fun gameplay modes, a good amount of customization, such as drivers, and things that I thought, like, that I caught, thought couldn't even be done, like, in a driving game. You know, you could, like, bowl, you could, like, use your car as a bowling ball, and you could, like, pop balloons, which is a, like... Like, I didn't even know that was, like, possible. And the only reason I can't rate it higher is because, you know, I didn't really have, like, enough time to play the game. I only played the arcade version. So, uh, yeah. I'll probably give it even higher if I had more chance to play it. 
And uh, anyways, this is Eric signing off from your friendly neighborhood, your friendly neighborhood reviewer. Anyways, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and peace.